first car I saw in this country was 1911. 1911? Uh, Model T Ford. It was in the uh, Henry... No, Henry no, that was 1914, Andrew Wilson bought one. Henry Wilson. But 1911, uh, Woodcock from Kingston, commercial man, came through with a a little coupe and uh, came through the country. That was the first time, first car I ever saw. Okay. Well, then the next car I saw was uh, Andrew Wilson bought in 1914. The old brass radi radiator on them. Yeah. And Jim Wilson down here bought one in 1915. What would they be? What kind of cars? Model T's. Model, Model, T's, Model T Ford. Yeah. You had to shove them up near every hill. <laughs> they wouldn't have any power for it. No. Uh, I guess you, you could just uh, put your have the door open on the more Model T stories. Because you had to get out and shovel up. Uh, of course, hills were a lot steeper at that yeah, time. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. They didn't grade them down the way they do nowadays. Yeah. But, uh, oh gosh, they were a brute. The old ones with the three pedals instead of a gear Yeah, shot. three pedals. One for low gear, one for reverse, and then you know, one for your clutch. The great big steering wheel sitting way up in the yeah. Mm -hmm. And every time you hit a stone with one of them wheels, it would just flop that old steering wheel right out of your hands. Is that right? Yeah. It's when they're straight steering on them. Straight steering, yeah. yeah. Well, you we struck a stone with one wheel, and just flop that wheel around no matter how you were holding it. Good job they couldn't get up no speed. Well, we didn't have the roads for it at that yeah. time, anyway. What did they say about them in those days? You know, they say they would never last. They were oh, yeah, they were, they were just a rich man's toy. Yeah. But uh, they kept getting them in the country. I guess they kept growing and they getting a little better. Yeah. And the next cars come in was 490 Chev. Or 490 Chevs. First car that ever went over the top of that hill, went over that hill of folks there in high gear, uh, Herb Warlick got it then to get Dodge. And uh, hit her go over that in high gear there. And went over this hill here at the road place in high gear. Mm -hmm. And uh, that was first car to go over in high gear. How long ago would that be? Oh, about in the 20s. Yeah. I think Grandpa bought an old 24 Chev. Yeah, he bought a 20. Yes, yeah, 24 mm -hmm. Chev. And uh, there was uh, them was old Superior Chevs. They came up in just after the 490s. Mm -hmm. Right in the past cars I bought one. Yeah, I bought one. And who else bought one? Oh, yes, Parks bought, uh, Parks bought a Durant. Yeah. No, Star. Star, huh? Star, he bought a Star. Then he traded in and bought a draft. Well, you know, he cost around $800 to make that with it. Uh, Somewhere around $800. Yeah. yeah, the first Fords come in this country and it cost four. Yeah. It cost $400 in those days. Oh, it cost just the same as two or three thousand. Pat Charles bought one and uh, Superior Chev. John Hunter bought one. And John Hunter bought one of those. He brought the first truck in this country. Uh, one of the chain drives. Percy Wilson took it. Uh, they were. They were. Percy Wilson was about the oldest driver was in this country. Uh, outside of Andrew Wilson's boys. Yeah. Uh, they got the car next. And when John Hunter got his truck, he uh, got Percy Wilson to drive it to draw his goods from Calabogie. At that time, at Pine Hill, they had built a, a bridge across from one hill to the other like this, you know, and the hill on this side wasn't near as steep as uh, long as one on the other side. But when the old chain drive come off, and the old chain, if the chain ever flipped off a sprocket, you had no brakes. You had nothing. You had no driving or no brakes. So he was coming down the hill on the far side one time with a load, and it, uh, the old chain jumped off and it came right on down. It came right up to the top of the hill on this side, but not enough to go over. And uh, then it went back. And it went back up partway up to the other hill. And he just rocked back and forward across that gutter like that. 
the old thing is lost, speeding up at a stop down the bottom. Is that and they could get the uh, chain back on. But before that, they drew all the goods from Calabo, we went to horses. The horses? Horses and wagons. 